on guys, it's Dre Tech here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about five things I like about the OnePlus 8T. Now, I did a video recently about five things that I dislike about the OnePlus 8T. So this video is just gonna be about the things that I like about the OnePlus 8T. This is just in my opinion, nobody has agreed with me. This is just what caught my attention right off the bat or the months that I've been using this phone, something that I really like. But before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and support the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so like I said, it was five things I like about this phone. Number one is I love the way the screen adjusts to whatever screen brand is you like. So for example, if you have it at 25% and you boost it up to 75%, the screen doesn't like jump right away. Like I know, I think every other company does that. If you go from like zero to 100, the screen in brightness increases just like that in a snap of a finger. But with this one, when you do it from low to high, it gradually increases little by little until it reaches the point where you wanted it to be at. So that's something that has really, really caught my attention, especially at night, if I have it on high, or for example, if I'm outside, if I have it on low and I can't see, then I just put it all the way to brightness and it increases little by little. So it doesn't go from zero to 100 really fast. It increases little by little and it's something that I've noticed and these are little things that not everybody would pay attention to, especially the average consumer, but something that I've paid attention to so far and something that I've liked, I actually do appreciate something like that. So thank you OnePlus. Okay, second thing that I like about this phone is the Warp Charge 65. Having Warp Charge 65 changes the way you charge your phone 100%. I used to have wireless charging on my iPhone SE, it was nice, you know, I used to have it on my table behind me right here and every time I edit a video, I just put it on the stand. But that phone didn't have great battery life. This one has good battery life and it has Warp Charge 65. So I never really have to worry about ever charging my phone like that. And if I do charge it, I charge it for like literally 15 minutes and it goes up from 30 to 75. So it's really, really quick, really, really convenient and I don't find myself charging my phone at night ever. Usually I go to sleep with like 50, 40% and then the next day I get on PS4 or, or whatever and I play for a little bit and while I'm playing I charge it for like 20, 25 minutes and I'm at 80% already and that's basically what I need for the whole day, you know, especially right now. So something that I found really, really convenient and something that I actually grew into loving because there is a lot of phones out there that don't charge that fast, but they both offer wireless charging and regular wire charging. So at the end of the day, it comes down to your preference. For me, I do like wireless charging, but since they're offering me 65 warp charge in the box, I don't have to buy it elsewhere on Amazon or the OnePlus website. It comes in a box with the phone, then I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna take advantage of it. So that's something that that I like and it doesn't get hot to the touch either that's probably the cool thing about it since it's divided into two battery cells it does not get as hot as other phones like Samsung but that's something that I've noticed and so far I love it another thing that I like about this phone is the screen so it's only a 1080p screen at 120 Hertz I'm gonna go back to the OnePlus 7 Pro because like I said I'm gonna be comparing it to that the OnePlus 7 Pro that I had had a quad HD display at 90 Hertz and I love that screen that is my favorite screen to this day because at the time when it came out there was no other phone out there that had 90 Hertz and quad HD there were phones out there that had 120 Hertz but there were LCD screens you know they weren't that pleasing to look at they were nice you know they felt that the experience was nice but they never had good screens whereas the oneplus 7 pro and now the oneplus 8 pro have quad hd displays at 120 hertz or 90 hertz so for me i know i'm being kind of picky but even with the oneplus 8t at 1080p resolution it's pretty nice and with the 120 hertz just gives it a better overall user experience there's a lot of people out there that haven't experienced 90 hertz or 120 hertz but i guarantee you once you go to 120 hertz it's gonna be hard to go back to 60 hertz so hopefully if a lot of you haven't tried it out yet get a phone in the future not right now if you're not into that but in the future if you do get a phone hopefully it does come with 90 or 120 hertz but overall like i said it has a 1080p screen not the best in the class but oneplus does make good screens just like samsung samsung has quad hd displays that look amazing and they also make 1080p displays that look great you know for the average consumer they look great it's something that i thought was gonna bother me when i went from the 7 pro to the iphone to this one but overall i kind of i like it i the 1080p screen is good enough for me like i said it's not the best but it's good enough for me it does not bother me especially if you put some nice wallpapers on there like this one 
with a little Spider-Man hanging out from the camera cutout, I think it looks really, really good. So get yourself a OnePlus 8T and the screen will be really, really nice. Okay, so number four. The fourth thing I like about the OnePlus 8T or I think just in general with the OnePlus brand with phones is that you could customize the accent color. Now, I have not seen this in any other phone company, Google, Samsung, Huawei. I have not seen this at all. I believe OnePlus is the only one where you could change literally the accent color on these little uh, boxes and even, and everything else as well when you put the, the the volume up and down it's the same color as well like i said these things that i like and they're little little things that you notice throughout your day day usage even though they're not big incremental updates or whatever but they're little things that are already included with this phone that make it a great phone and give you a better user experience so with you customizing the accent color on it you get to make it more of your own so that's something that i've liked and usually i always change it depending on the wallpaper that i have so right now i have a blue wallpaper and i kind of put it with the blue color but if i have an orange or a red wallpaper then i change the whole accent to red like i said that is something that is very very small but very very important to me because i get to make this phone my own unlike other phones where you're forced to just have whatever they give you and that's it this one you get to choose whatever color you like and i think that is a great thing that they include in the phone number five is gonna be the software oxygen os 11. so when i had the oneplus 7 pro that was running oxygen 10 oxygen os 10 and now it's running oxygen os 11. So in my opinion, I think I like the Oxygen OS 10 better by a little bit. I think they are going a good way to Oxygen OS 11, but I think it looks too much like Samsung in a way and maybe a little bit like Google. So the way I see it is Samsung has their own interface, One UI 3.0, and then Google has their own. And then OnePlus was always leaning more towards Google, but with a little bit of more features. But now with Oxygen OS 11, it's more like smack down in the middle between Google and Samsung. So it has a little bit of Google stuff and it has a little bit of Samsung stuff and a little bit of OnePlus. So they have a couple things on there that neither of them have, but I think at the end of the day, the interface is kind of looking more towards like Samsung. And there is a lot of people out there that don't like Samsung uh, skin, but there is other people that do like it. So that's why I'm saying it falls right in the middle between Google and Samsung because you might like this or you may not like it. But for me, I think I like Oxygen OS 10 a lot better than 11. So that's been it. This one was a quick video. Those are five things that I like about the OnePlus 8T. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.